This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing, God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. 
We don't know what's important yet. I mean, isn't that evident? She was killed for a brooch. Just next time clear with me, all right? Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. That's helpful. I'll check into it. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. 
And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. You want them to feel happy. You want them to think you feel happy. You want them to forget about your shoulders and those fucking narrow hips. You want them to get so worked up that they'll stuff their wallet straight up your fucking cunt. You want them so out of their minds, blind with excitement, that they'll hop their houses and carpet this floor with money just to get their grimy little paws on you. But they're not going to do any of that if you don't ever flash them a bloody smile. You know what they're going to do? They're going to take their business elsewhere because you're making them feel fucking miserable. You're supposed to be reeling them in. Instead, you're driving them out the fucking door. Jesus God, you're killing me. I don't think you're even trying. But we're going to keep at this until you get it right. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like, for the right price. Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> It's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. <laughs> That's quaint, especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, 